building up there. So many explorers have come up here in the middle of the night and, and explore this place. That's the question. So dummy me, this should be recording, I hope. I wasn't recording on my other one. Gosh darn it. But hopefully <laughs> you saw my face the whole time. Ah, shit. So check this place out. It's on the screen here. Hold on, sorry. I don't mean to do this, but... There's a... Something on my lens. Okay, hold on a second. I dropped my phone. Those white things are gone. I don't know what it was, but there was something on my lens that was making it look like white orbs on my camera. And it wasn't. And uh, I dropped my phone from up there down here. It bounced on the rocks. And landed over here. <sighs> Somebody dug that out. Man, I don't see nothing in there. Animal, maybe? So this was two stories. That's what I'm taking, because here's here's where the floor was. Right here. Straight across. I'm sure they were just beams going across. I'm looking at a, a light in the sky. But like I was saying, sometimes your eyes play tricks on you, so. Moon to the window. Here. Yeah. That's the moon. It's black in here. Turn the light down a little bit. Walk out the door here. Let me show you the building here in the distance. Hold on a second. I have no idea what's going on here with my camera. I really don't. It's weird. Like you see all these white dots. I don't know if you see them, but I see them. They're all over the camera right now. And I don't know, it's from, <laughs> it's from me dropping it. It's crazy. My lens is clean too. All right, we're gonna head back over to my vehicle. Because I don't know what happened. They were gone, and then they came back. Oh, that's bad. Well, did anybody see anything? 
I didn't. Alright. Alright, I figured out what it was. So my my light on my camera was on. And obviously the lens cover that goes on the lens and the the light was creating these bubble effects on my on my camera so i just realized it was on i right, show this again here's dinner beef and broccoli and carrots this is a uh, pre-made meal we made all my meals well my wife and i made our meals we made the ants we freeze them and then we eat them. We have the right amount, about four to six ounces of meat and then the rest of vegetables. And dry. If you go back to the Valley of Fire camping, I was about uh, 212 pounds and here we go oh shit that's bright right, let's figure this out okay I was about 212 pounds around there maybe a little heavier and yeah that's not my weight I'm usually about 180 well I am down from that point which was in the beginning of February to no, I'm sorry, January, to where we are in February 23rd. I'm down 27 pounds now. So I am about 185. So I'm kind of up and down a little bit, but I've not gone up. I've pretty much stayed steady, and I'll find out tomorrow if I lost any more weight. But in six weeks, I'm down 27 pounds So from where I was. So that's why we pre-make all of our meals to be exactly what we need to eat. So I'm shutting this off. I'm gonna turn you around and just kind of show you what we got going. My campsite, I'm all set up. I am right next to, I'm in the ghost town, okay? I'm camping inside the ghost town. I got my table, chair, all set up. I got my fire pit over there. I'll move my chair over and um, I'll turn on my fire. I'll get myself something to drink, move my table over. Just kind of go towards the front a little bit. Eat my dinner, sorry, eat my dinner, uh, drink some whiskey and smoke a cigar. Let me show you. My whiskey I brought. So. Yes, I have a cold. This is called Georgia Dickel. It's pretty good. So, I don't know if you can see it. But uh, this is what I'm going to be drinking tonight. Along with my cigar. So I'll see you in a little bit. Got my fire going. Not a big fire, but it's a good, good enough. It's uh, starting to, the wind is starting to pick up. It's eight o'clock at night. I was hoping no wind because I'm literally in a canyon, so that wind is going to howl through this canyon all the way down. I'll show you in the morning when it's light out. It's crazy how bright the moon is and you can see the mountain over there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. 
Let me shut this light. I don't think you can see the mountains, but I can see them. The moon is light, bright. I don't know if you can see the stars or anything like that. Yeah, but uh, we're going to eat dinner here, and then, sorry, moving the camera, I'm going to finish dinner as I let it get cold, and then dummy me, I usually put my thermals on. But when I left Vegas, it was warm. <laughs> warm. Of course, we're up just under 6,000 feet. I think we're sitting at 5,960 or something like that. We're just under 1,000 feet, or under 6,000 feet. You know, when I got up here, the temperature was still showing like 42. And when we were at 5,000 feet, it was 45 degrees. So, yeah. Sorry, but... I haven't eaten since lunch. That was uh, 11, about 11, 15 I ate lunch. So, I'm starving. Yeah. Pretty cool. Let me show you. I'm gonna turn the fire off because I don't want to waste my fuel. This old ghost town. We'll have to explore it in the morning. This is my uh, vehicle. I have motion lights around it. So if I walk around, you know, it lights up so I can see. There's all kinds of rocks and uneven terrain. And I just don't want to trip and fall. <clears throat> so, there's the moon. I don't think we could zoom in on this, can we? Huh? All right. Let me clean up a little bit here. And, uh, clean up pan and then we'll get back. We cleaned everything up. I'm using my little tabletop I used for the back at the on the tire carrier to cook my food as a wind barrier because the wind is blowing through right now. It's uh, pretty cool. Cold. Cool. It's cold. I um, poured my George Dickel, um, <laughs> just the name. My whiskey in here, a nice cup. I got my lighter and a cigar. I'm going to sit back, try to enjoy the fire as much as I can. I gotta get the flame just right. I got that wind coming in. Um, yeah, I, I, I know I didn't explain everything that I got. So, it's already cold. It's, it's probably, I, I think I said, I, I turned on my vehicle. It was 38 degrees. It's just, I think it's like 8.30, 8.40 right now. 
Um, I have just a basic sleeping bag, but I also have um, heated blankets, electric blankets. I got two of them. So I got one for the bottom and then I have a oversized one for the top. And then I'll have a, a just a basic 40 degree sleeping bag uh, on top of that to kind of trap the heat in. And uh, I usually have the blanket set at uh, the standard temperature where it just kind of um, goes on and off, on and off through the night. And it doesn't like get like really hot. It just stays warm. You can turn it on to red and the red says it's 115 degrees. I don't know if it is, but if you put it on red, it stays pretty warm. And I've done it before where I was camping up in uh, Kanab, Utah, and it got down into the low 20s. And that's all I had was one heated blanket and nothing else. And uh, <laughs> I slept on top of the cushion of the tent and I used that heated blanket. It's a single person heated blanket. And I had it on high all night long and it kept me warm. Of course, I had to stay in a ball because it was, it's basically the width of my, my body, my shoulders. It's only like 28 inches wide or no, I think it's like 25 inches wide. So it's not that wide. And it's just under, just a little over five feet long. And I'm not a tall person, I'm 5'9", so uh, I do have broad shoulders, but uh, I had to kind of just curl up and keep myself warm, and I did. I stayed warm all night because I forgot everything. Uh, so, but yeah, I'm going to enjoy my whiskey and smoke a cigar, so I'll see you in a sec. There's like strange, strange noises out, out there. I can try to show you, but I don't think you're gonna see anything out there. There's like strange noises out there. time <laughs> I dropped dropped my um, look at the wind oh that's tasty sounds crazy but Know how much I'm gonna be able to enjoy with all this wind. Oh my gosh. I'm full on a whiskey drinker. camping in a ghost town physically and literally a ghost town um, this dates back to I think sometime in the 1800s I believe and uh, people died 
um, the Widowmaker, the Silcosis, uh, all the all the dust that the, these miners were inhaling as they were working. I'm telling you, I don't know what, what what's over there, but I hear something. I don't see anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can see. Yeah, so, sorry, didn't move fast. Okay, well, you didn't see anything, I didn't see anything. I think it's just the wind. The wind is blowing pretty good right now. <clears throat> it's cold. Oh man, is it cold. Um, yeah, the, the cemetery, we, when we came up, uh, obviously it was too darn dark at one of the forks in the road at the uh, coming up the mountain the cemetery was just on to the right of us and we went right past it I didn't even didn't even think about it and it would have been pretty cool to walk around that, that cemetery at night and there's a lot of a lot of uh, tombstones there so uh, It's cold right now. Damn. And this don't help with my finger sticking out. The rest of my hand's warm, but not my finger. Um, it's almost gone. Damn it. But it warms me up. Mm. It really warms you up. The stars are out. Pretty damn good. A lot of stars. You know what bothers me mm. is that light. That GoPro light, it has um, three brightnesses. That's the low, then there's the medium and a really high. And the medium and the high don't even work. So that camera is a piece of shit. So I bought a really cheap one on Amazon. And I was using my older GoPro uh, 7 with that light. And I think I paid 19 bucks on Amazon for it. And that thing is badass. This thing... That's it. It's just that light. I can't turn up the light to medium or high because it just automatically shuts itself off and it's fully charged. I, I charge everything as we're driving. I, right now my other GoPro is charging. The uh, 7 is charging. I have another uh, 11 and, and of course then I got my phone. So yeah, that light sucks. It sucks. It really does suck. So don't spend 50 bucks for this light because it's a piece of crap because you only get one brightness and that's it right there. That's low. And it's, you're about th three feet from me. So you're good arm length away. I don't know if you can hear that wind, but that wind is blowing right now. Man, the stars are insane. And the moon is so bright. Let me let me down this one. <clears throat> Which is I want seconds. I can't have seconds. One is good enough. It's just enough to put my ass to sleep. Okay. <sighs> let me show you. I'm just kind of 
panning around. Of course, we're going to be running right into my lights here in a second. Oh, that's bright. There's the moon. Okay, let's go by the fire. It's getting a little chilly out here. All right. It's cold away from this feet. Heat in from underneath the, the tent. Look at this. Look at this fire fighting the wind. All right. We'll see you later. See you in a bit.